you're watching my very first episode of A Haunted Hotel Room. Today we are venturing deep into the California desert in search of the most insanely haunted hotel we can find. And we found one, supposedly. Tonight we are checking into a hotel in Death Valley Junction, California called the Amargosa Opera House and Hotel. This is an old borax mining town. Now supposedly this place is haunted and I came here to find out myself. I do care about the history. Half of this place is abandoned. I do care about stuff like that. But in all fairness and honesty, I came here to seek the paranormal. I don't want to hear it from TV shows. I don't want to hear it from other YouTube channels. I came here to look for ghosts and that's what we're going to do. So let's jump right into it. All right, so this is the room where you're gonna stay in. And the lady who took this place over in the 60s kind of restored it. It was sitting abandoned for quite some time. And, uh, you know, she painted all this stuff. Pretty interesting. But I don't feel anything ridiculously strange in this room yet. But we have two entrances, which is kind of cool. That one goes out to the front. Dude, look at this creepy bathroom. Oh my God. Dude, straight out of a horror film. Look at that. The pipe's just sticking out like that. Then again, it's a uh, hundred years old, so. What are you gonna do, right? Wow, I'm digging it in here. I can't wait to get uh, all the lights out and see what's up with this room. All right, so now we are about to go take a tour in the old historic opera house. I don't know when this thing was built, but I do remember several years back, well, I took a tour in there. Um, didn't stay at the hotel, just took a tour. We actually saw a shadow figure. So I'm going to try to see if I can mount a camera somewhere in there. The tour's for about 20 minutes. I'm going to try to put this in the corner. See if we catch anything, so let's go. Now, unfortunately, as soon as we got in there, the tour guide did not let us do any kind of ghost hunting at all. I was even surprised I was able to uh, grab this camera and throw it up here where she wouldn't see it. It's pretty small, so... Yeah, she wouldn't let us do any ghost hunting, any filming for my channel. As a matter of fact, the whole hotel, the staff, really wasn't cool of people walking around there with cameras. But let me show you what we did catch two years back. Is that you that's touching that? Could you stop? So yeah, I was upset, but you know, you can't have everything you want, right? So we were unable to do a ghost hunt in this opera house and I just had to focus on other parts of the hotel. This is 15. That is the other haunted room. 15, 15 and nine, to my knowledge, those are the two most active. Now, down here at the very end, down here at the very end is where, whoa, okay. As you guys can see, there's a doorway back there. You see that doorway? This is a part that has been sealed up and abandoned and supposedly down this hallway, it looks just like this. There's another one of these going straight down. Supposedly this is super haunted. There are spirits that will attack men in there. Let's see if they knock. Knock back. That's a trip. It's a 
trip how they just sealed that off like that. This is the door we would come in through. Yes. Hmm. I think later we'll come back over here and try an SB7 spirit box session. So right now we're walking around the hotel. Um, same thing with these really old fashioned historic hotels is the front desk person goes to their room so the lobby shuts down. Um, I like that because it gives ghost hunters like me an opportunity to walk around the facility. We're gonna go outside right now also and we're just gonna just get a general feel for it and walk around. It feels creepy in here. It's dark as heck. I've got just a regular room right here. A lot of noises in there. Where's this guy? This guy over here following me around. What's up, buddy? You seen any ghosts? Huh? It's a pretty cool cat. Let's go outside and walk around the property. Meanwhile, back at the room, I set up this little spy cam to watch anything and everything that goes on in there. We'll check it out towards the end of the video and I'll tell you if I caught anything. All right, so. Everybody is sleeping. And this is actually the side of the hotel that's closed. If you guys watch Ghost Adventures episode, the front desk calls this whole hallway that's abandoned, they call it Spooky Hollow. Nobody comes back here. Employees don't even go back there. I heard it's sealed up and they don't even use it for storage. But we're going to walk down here and try an SB7 spirit box. Because, hey, we're ghost hunters, and that's what we do. Oh, dude, it feels heavy down here. Oh, wow. It feels real thick. My heart is racing a little bit, too. Is there anyone down here right now that wants to communicate? Man, it's really cold right here. Now supposedly, this is where that Lady Martha lived. And there's a few abandoned houses back there. But I kind of really don't want to disrespect the, you know, how passionate that lady was about preserving this place. So I'm gonna respect that sign right there. We're not gonna go in there. I mean, I'm sure there's ways in, but that's besides the point. Knock. Any spirits wanna communicate? Dude, it feels odd down here. It really does. Alright you guys, let's try my favorite. 
<clears throat> SB7 Spirit Box. Are there any spirits out here right now? Can any spirits hear the sound of my voice? Why do they call this hallway, this side of the building, Spooky Hollow? Why? We did not catch any voices coming through the SB7 spirit box at all. As a matter of fact, we walked around for about 40 minutes and continuously tried a spirit box session and nothing was happening. So yeah, this whole side is abandoned. Is there even a lock on there? Imagine if it opened. Yeah. This whole, I guess you can say, wing is just absolutely abandoned. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty spooky. Just to walk in the same footsteps as these miners did 100 years ago. You know, they were probably just all hanging around. It was just a big dormitory, that's all it was. But uh, they say that they were very violent. They fought with each other. There was hangings, there was suicides. It was, it was pretty ghetto. You know, a bunch of single men working and they come back here and they start drinking, get to gambling and whatnot. Here we are in front of the opera house. There she is. Hmm. So as you can see, we're not catching a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of anything and you guys that's what happens real ghost hunting that's what happens we still got a lot of footage to go over I got a camera set up in the room and we're gonna see what happens exactly but for now not a whole lot going on now let's talk about the camera footage so I set up two cameras in the room one during the day with the lights on and I also had an infrared camera watching us sleep all night and unfortunately, we did not catch a single thing. Not a voice, not a strange noise, shadow figure, no orbs or anything was happening in this room. That's unfortunate and that's just the way it goes. Now would I say that this hotel is not haunted? No. Would I say that uh, the Ghost Adventures, you know, made a, uh, a mountain out of a rice grain? Yes. And uh, according to the staff, uh, they really blew things out of proportion. That's cool, that's what they do, but that's not what I do. I search for nothing but the truth. But beyond that, this is no doubt an absolutely historic and magnificent site. I recommend you guys check it out. Link below, and we'll go straight to their website. Thank you for watching. I will catch you guys next time.